This is Marshall Wright and today we're going to show how to set up a user so that they can access the control console through uh, our web portal to gain access to Screen Connect to get to their workstations. First thing we have to do is set up a user. And to do that you go to the uh, command console, go to system, users and contacts, pick users, Under the Client Access group, you're going to add the new user in. Click Add. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to put in a user called Test User. We're going to enter in a password for them. An email address. And then for permissions, we're going to add two permissions. Right click on the user class area. We're going to add the LBHA user class and the dispatcher user class. We're going to allow web access, allow HTTP tunnel. We're going to switch the command level pr priority to zero and auditing level to none. In the groups, we're going to add in the group that they have access to. For the purposes of this, we're going to use Premier Physicians, a former client. Add them in. And down in here, for all clients, find Premier Physicians. We're going to add them. Click Add New. That'll update the cache in the system. And that adds the user in. So if we go back and check real quick just to make sure we have everything right, have our two permissions and our groups for Premier Physician are set up. All right, <clears throat> next step is to go to the uh, actual client uh, in uh, the system. So we go to the client, click on uh, Premier Physicians Network, go over here to the permissions tab. We're going to add in the LBHA user class, click on that, and then we're going to add some things that they can actually get to. We're going to let them read these things. Most important is we're going to allow redirected access, and we'll give them access to the file explorer too so they can see what's on computers. We'll let them get to the uh, command prompt, access history, and view commands. And then uh, down here in the corner, there is a save button, so we'll save it. And then you can see the user class is set up and associated with this particular user. Now, if we open a browser up, We'll open a new browser session up and we will go to monitor.techorite.com. And we're going to put in a, and we're going to click on the, the technician login. Oops, we're already logged in as somebody. We got to log out. We'll log back in as test user with the password. Oops. Test user. Oh, and it is it is case sensitive. And you can see we're logging in. And you can see the three computers here. So we'll, we'll pick one for laughs and giggles. And you can see the agent is offline. An error message will click through. And uh, there is the uh, button here for a remote access if this computer was actually online. So that is how you set a user up uh, to gain access to all of the computer objects on a client's network.